Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the global leader in regenerative therapies. I'm here today with a beautiful model that my son and I put together. Uh, it's a Lego style model of a Trojan horse. Um, when I started looking for a model of a Trojan horse, um, there wasn't much available except for this um, Lego style and uh, unfortunately it took me and my son three days to put it together. It's very intricate. Um, well, but I think it'll come in nicely as a prop to explain the uh, how exosomes work in the body. All right, so let me set the, uh, the stage here. Greece and Troy in mythological times were in a uh, really bad war and it went on for over a decade and Greece was not doing very well so they had a light bulb idea to use uh, the Trojan horse to turn the tide of the war. Here's how they did it. They basically faked a surrender. They put this huge wooden Trojan horse outside the gates of Troy and they came along with a messenger, a sacrifice to the gods, okay? And that's what they called the Trojan horse and the messenger explained that Greece was giving up, they'd left, and this was a gift as a sacrifice to the gods. So what happened next was very interesting. Um, Troy, the leaders of Troy, the Trojans, decided um, in whatever, for whatever reason to bring the Trojan horse into the gates of Troy. You can see that there's the ropes here with the soldiers bringing in the horse. Um, and when they did that, the, uh, the horse was left in the square. And they thought about burning it, they thought about leaving it outside the gates, but no, they decided to bring it in and have this big celebration. So they opened up all of the alcohol that they had, the whole supply, and they spread it throughout the party. And people got really inebriated, they got tired, they fell asleep in the streets. And that is when the sides of the horse and there was a hatch door and escape door in the bottom opened up. There were dozens of soldiers inside the wooden Trojan horse, such as Odysseus, Monoleus, even the carpenter who created the horse was in there as well as a soldier. So they came out and basically the bloodbath started. So it changed the whole war. All right, so why do I have this Trojan horse model? This Trojan horse represents an exosome. Scientists for a while now have been describing exosome as a Trojan horse delivery model. What does that mean? What that means is the Trojan horse itself is not the drug or the biologic, okay? It's what's inside, what's hidden inside the Trojan horse, what's hidden inside the exosome. The soldiers are the actual drug or active biologic, okay? What does that mean? Well, an exosome is created by a cell and it's almost like a soap bubble. Um, here we're calling it a Trojan horse. And basically, it's filled up with cytokines and growth factors, nucleic acids, peptides. And those are then excreted from cells. All of our bodily cells secrete them. But we care about exosomes that we create in the lab from umbilical cord stem cells. Okay? So, when the Trojan horse, the exosome, is excreted from the cell, and it floats in the bloodstream or in bodily fluids, it will get taken up by cells that are damaged and experiencing inflammation. So it gets eaten by those cells, and then the exosome, in this case the Trojan horse, the soldiers will come out from the escape hatch or the sides here, right? And what, <clears throat> what they will do is then, let's say this is a growth factor, this is a cytokine, this is a peptide, a nucleic acid, you get it, right? There's a bunch of them. And what they will do is they will go up to uh, components of the cell and they'll say, listen, you're damaged, you are sick, and we are going to, you need to fix yourself and repair and reprogram, and here's the tools with which to do it. In our case, when our regenerative therapies are done, these soldiers from exosomes are the toolkit, okay, with how things get accomplished. Now, other scientists and 
from pharmaceutical companies or research entities, what they're trying to do is have inside the exosome, maybe a chemotherapeutic agent or some other type of drug that gets directed to the tumor or to the organ that's damaged. And the drug that comes out, the soldiers are going to be different, right? They're going to selectively kill that tumor where it is or whatnot. So exosomes are being looked at as a delivery vehicle. But in our case, we've already made the components that we want inside the Trojan horse. And we've done that in the lab, all right? So what are they used for? Well. We use these uh, stem cells and exosomes, the components of the exosomes, are very good for all types of conditions. We use the stem cells and exosomes together in the vast majority of kids with autism or adults with arthritis or autoimmune disorders or orthopedic or neurologic issues. It's like a one-two punch. The exosomes work very quickly. They give a lot of benefits, uh, like a curve like this. All right, and the stem cells work slower and they have a longer mode of action, so it's like this. So you end up with this type of work together, okay? So it's been very, very helpful. In addition, with anti-aging, I just published our consumer guide for anti-aging. And basically what happens as we get older is we get a lot of inflammation in our bodies. It's a, a systemic chronic sterile inflammation. Scientists call it inflammaging. So what that means is that that chronic inflammation can lead to exacerbation of diseases, whether it's kidney failure or um, help cancer to thrive or things like that. These <clears throat> soldiers that come from exosomes are very helpful in reducing that inflammation and reducing oxi oxidative stress and basically setting up the uh, body to potentiate its own stem cells and to get better tissue repair and to decrease the chances of developing some of these uh, diseases that, that you know aff afflict a lot of us as we get into middle and older age. All right. So exosomes are often referred to as the fountain of youth. There's a lot of studies between Harvard and um, Stanford and whatnot that are showing just how well it can work at reducing some of these issues, um, heart disease, uh, as well as um, skeletal muscle regeneration, arthritis, things like that. All right, so I'm very excited about my exosome Trojan horse model. Let me get my, oh, all right. So I'm very excited that my son helped me build this exosome Trojan horse model. I think it's going to come in very handy uh, moving forward in various uh, videos. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy playing with the soldiers and the horse. Yeah. All right. Visit us online at r3stemcell.com. There's a lot of educational information on the website. There's a lot of great videos on our YouTube channel, as well as patient success stories. Okay, and get in touch with us for a free consultation globally. We have over 40 centers in six countries. Would love to help you with a free consultation. You can email info at r3stemcell.com or call us at plus one eight four four get stem. Thank you.